Hello guys, my name is McCheese and I'm currently playing a bit of the Guild Wars 2 stress test, which is now in the last or second to last hour. Um, been playing this a little bit, but given the overlap with the Diablo uh, 3 release, it's well, kind of bad luck really. So I've also had to prioritize that a little bit. Anyways, um, I would just show off this, uh, you know, the gem store and and the trading post and stuff like that in the game. Uh, it's in the game right now and it works fairly well. The only thing that, as far as I can tell, that I'm not able to is to buy gems for real money, uh, which makes sense because it's just a beta and it would be kind of stupid to, to waste money on it. So the gem store is a place where you buy stuff for gems, which probably makes sense. Uh, there's a there's not that many items currently available in the beta, but I guess that's just one of those beta is beta things, and something that they will remedy when when the game is released. So what we got is we got these categories right here. You see, we have like the style where you can get like this crazy hat, or you can get a, some different outfits as well. Um, Transmutation stones, which means that you know you change the appearance of an item, but you don't actually change the stats of an item. We have a few consumables here, which includes uh, dyes that you can use for you know change the color of your cloth. We got some keys which can be used to unlock some lockbox which you can find around the world. Some uh, yeah seeds which can be used to you know grow plants for new dye colors. Uh, it's all fine. So I don't, I don't know if that is actually available in the game. I'm I, I'm not sure about that at all. If you go further down, we have stuff like uh, you know a bank portal, which is just a, a bank on the fly that you can access. Instant repair kit makes sense, right? You repair your gear instantly. That's all cool. It's actually a pretty good idea. You can see I'm I'm my damage uh, my gear is actually fairly damaged. Uh, got a resurrection orb. It's yeah revives your character from death slowly. This item cannot be used in uh, world was world or PP, it all makes sense. So we have a different kind of stuff like that we have we can get some more backs uh, back slots or bank tabs here. And there's uh, some different kind of boosts. Uh, you see magic fine boost, kill streak experience boost, crafting boots, stuff like that. Actually the kill streak uh, experience boost is kinda cool. What it does is that you get a hundred percent extra experience uh, from kills for 30 seconds and this this 30 seconds this time will reset back to 30 seconds every time you get an additional kill So you just have to keep killing really really fast. Otherwise, you'll Lose that boost really fast. The other experience boost is just a uh, 50% extra experience for one hour It's just a more regular thing, right? Okay, so well, this comes. This the gem store is where you spend your gems, and your gems are something you buy for. You know, you can you can buy them for gold, and as far as I remember, you can also buy them for real money. Um, so you see right here, this is the trade gems for gold. Uh, no, gold for gems. Jesus, I can't read right now. It's getting a bit too late. So uh, I don't know how many money I actually have. It, oh, I uh, seems to be down here. I only have five silver, so I don't actually think I can buy anything. Oh, I can buy 45 gems for that if I want to do that. Um, and over here, I can instead sell the gems for gold. So, but how it works is that I can also, I can also get, um, let's see in here, get more gems. Um, I think it will tell me that it's not available in the beta. Uh, if it will tell me anything. Yeah, exactly. Beta special limited uh, limit reached. Um, uh, you you get like two k, two k gems for free in the beta, and I already use those. So, um, but you can uh, you can buy you can buy gems for real money, and you can buy gems for gold. But before you can you can buy any gems for for in-game gold some people have to sell it and those people who sell it will then have to have you know bought it for real life money so there's this uh, trading back and forth kind of like like eve for the players who know that system um and i think it's a pretty good way to do it actually you know the guys who who just want some in-game gold they can they can get it 
from for some real life money and the guys who don't want to spend any real life money in the gems they can get it for in-game gold provided that there's enough guys who are trying to sell and stuff so that means that in-game gold will have to have some kind of value uh f you know it has to actually there has to be something you can spend your in-game gold on otherwise there won't be any uh, reason to sell gems right okay so i'm moving on here to the trading post the trading post is like the in-game auction house and you see right here the f the menu is just you have uh, top valued items supplied items demanding items traded items right so this kind of indicates that the system is um, well you have you have a system where you can uh, sell items which is a uh, supplied items you have a system where you can demand items which means that you can actually like place orders for items and just wait for people to to try and sell it to you and top traded items funnily enough you know cover is, is in top of all three that makes sense then we have some kind of filters here uh can go into all kind of different things consumables uh use built by me let's see if we find anything yeah there's a few items here uh, so let's see i don't think that actually is you see that there isn't anyone actually selling these right now but i can place a custom offer and that means that i can actually say that so if so if some guy got these and he wants to sell them he can uh, he can see that i'm interested in buying he can try and see if you know if he wants to um, if, if my price the price i offer if that's all right and if that's okay then he can accept it and just sell it right away to me or he can you know place it on the in the trading post for another price right go back to search result also there's the search field which i'm pretty sure it's actually yeah you know it's out of completion which is really cool i love that feature it just it just gotta be in every text field ever it's it's so so cool and it was very quick and responsive which i which I really love otherwise you know it's on the show available on the show things that are actually being sold out here it's all fine uh it works fairly well actually um my only problem right now is that you know there's 10 items down here on the list and then you have these small buttons to click uh, next and previous and stuff for me they could have been a bit bigger or you know you could have a longer list so you could just scroll down i mean every mouse nowadays come with a scroll wheel and scrolling is a lot faster than clicking these small buttons but it's a minor thing really um but it would be awesome if they if they kind of fixed it right so now i'm going down to sell uh the sell uh you know tab here so again, this is all the, the items that I have in my own inventory. And what I can see is that, well, I can of course see the item, right? That makes sense. And I can see if if anybody's interested in these items. So <clears throat> let's say I got this celery stock and I want to sell it. Let's see. Meet highest buyer. So the highest buyer, uh, four ordered by one buyer. Let's see if I can sell him just one. If that works out that way or mm, nothing is really happening here whoa okay i think i sold it to him got an additional cover i guess that's all fine can i sell some metal scraps perhaps see how that goes taking its time but i guess that's necessary Uh, one sold for six. Yeah, okay. So that that's pretty much just the way of it. You know, you can uh, you can sell to people who have listed an order, or you can just you know make just try to sell yourself, right? So let's yeah, okay. I'm trying to sell this for thirty cover. It costs two cover to put it up, uh, matching the lowest seller, which is right now you know a guy who's trying to sell it for thirty. I could of course just add uh, or you know. Not add change. I should be able to change the price. I'd say no. Fifty. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I can just I can just change it. I mean, then I won't match the lowest price anymore. But I actually hope I don't. I'm not wearing those. No, currently equipped with something else. Good. Although this seems to be better, but whatever. We run with it. Um. So again, you can sort by different things here. Uh, search, okay, perhaps you should actually write some that makes sense. 
you know, it it automatically removes any item that doesn't uh, fit whatever you're writing up here. It seems to be working very well, actually. And to be honest, I just love the fact that you can place orders and items because it's it's a lot more user friendly than auction house. You may know from other games where you have to you you go into the auction house, you're kind of checking if the items you have are, are being sold there to to try and estimate the price and all that, and or you're coming there to to see if if any items is on uh, that is on sale or any items you need is is on the auction house and in case it isn't then you'll have to come back later and actually it's, it's pretty annoying to you know going back have to go back to the auction house all the time but guild wars 2 is, is fixing this by firstly you can access this trading post anywhere in the game which is a pretty cool feature and then you can also you know place place orders and just hopefully, if you're, if the price you've set is right, then hopefully some guy will actually sell it to you. And, and you know, if you have an item that you want to sell, you can see if there's some guys who, wanna, who are interested in buying it, and you can just get it sold right away, instead of having to actually put it out there and then just crush your fingers. I'd say it, it seems to be a great system so far. Um, really looking forward to seeing how it will work, you know. Alright, and just lastly here, you can just see my transactions, you can see what I'm trying to sell right now, it all these guys, which I may actually just have to, to you know, remove again, because 3 power may be better than 3 uh, precision. Uh, what just happened there? Did it remove? Yeah, okay, there we go, now they're removed, that's cool. Uh, I can pick these up from the, I guess, take all. No? How does this work? Okay, I don't know how that works, but that's a minor thing. So, anyways, that was just a quick uh, quick look at the gem store for you right there. Um, again, hopefully more items will be added, but to be honest, I'm kind of excited about it. It looks pretty cool overall. So, that'll be all, and now I'll be going to bed. See you later.